We are about to do some super fast freezer cooking, but I wanna show you how I prep my meals for the week or if I'm just doing a big freezer cooking session. So you can see right here, I have these little baskets. And what I do is I basically take my menu planning cards from our freezer series. Y'all, these are the best freezer meals on the planet. So I just take my menu cards from each one. I pop them into each bin. So you can see tomorrow we're gonna make the pesto tortellini bake. I think Wednesday we're making the uh, lemon pesto chicken tenders. Friday, we're doing the Brunswick chicken stew casserole, and Thursday, we're doing grandma's biscuits. So I put everything in these bins, and then as I'm making them, I just pull everything out, and it makes it super easy. If you're a busy mom like me who struggles with getting dinner on the table, this means you don't eat out because you've got a bunch of awesome freezer meals. So that's kind of what mine look like. What I'll do, I'll show y'all real fast. What I do once they're done, hang on, this is kind of hard. Let me pull this this way. What I do once they're done is I just come on in here, and... I stick them in my pantry. I am super lucky and have a really nice big pantry. So I'll just put them on the bin up there on my shelf and then I just pull out the bins each day. Yeah, anyways, it works really well for me. Helps me to stay on track. So today we are making the slow cooker. Let's see what we're making over here. I just lost my card as I did that. We are making the slow cooker lasagna. So let me show you how to do this one. This is in week one. Y'all, these menus are so good. We're doing quick and easy lasagna. So what I've done is I've already gone ahead and prepped my ground beef and ground sausage. Y'all tell me, who are you cooking for tonight? Who is in your family that you've gotta make dinner for? What are you making them? How many times did you eat out last week? Are you struggling with eating out? Is that an area in your family's finances that is difficult for you? For us, this just means that we don't eat out because I've already got meals planned and it honestly just saves us time and money. So I've already gone ahead and I've put together, I've got a pound of ground beef, a pound of ground sausage. I'm gonna add in a jar of tomato sauce and I'm just using Kroger brand. Here's a quick tip on this. If you add a little liquid, you add a little water and you can get the rest of the gunk out in there so you don't waste any. And then I'm gonna do a can of tomato sauce. And this is just a little guy, it's a little eight ounce can. Can y'all see this real well? Hang on, let me get that down there. So tell me who you're cooking for. Who are you trying to help eat well? A big thing for me on making menus at home is that if we go out to eat, I love my sweet family, but when we go out, their first choice of what to eat is always gonna be french fries. <laughs> and so if I make it at home, I know that french fries and chicken fingers are not all that my family eats. If we eat out, at least two of mine, <laughs> well, yeah. They're not gonna choose the best food when we go out to eat. And because we're frugal, a lot of times we don't always go to super nice restaurants, so the options are less. So cooking at home saves us a ton of money and time. So I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Hang on, let me find this. And I actually was out of Italian seasoning, so I'm kind of playing this by ear. It calls for a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Y'all, I just added in a whole bunch of oregano and basil. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of garlic. Let me go ahead and turn this down. I'll add in a little bit of garlic, and then I'm gonna give this a good stir. Get it to all mix really well. You do wanna do this in a really big skillet, and what's nice is this is actually gonna make us two pans of lasagna, so that means that I don't have to cook for a few nights, which makes me really, really, really happy. So this not only saves me now, it saves me later, which is always my favorite thing. So I'm gonna get that all mixed in really well. Looking to see your comments super fast. Come on over here, we're gonna do, now we've got our lasagna pans over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got my baby cards, which we'll talk about in a second. Do y'all have the baby cards? We'll talk about those guys in a second. Um, okay, I'm mixing together. Let me go grab my directions here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix together. 15 ounce jar of ricotta cheese, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Can y'all see this real well? Okay. Whoops, went right in there. And then a little bit of parsley. And it just calls for a half a teaspoon of parsley, so not too much. Let's go ahead and pull that up. I am so excited. And let me ask y'all, do you use cottage cheese or do you use ricotta? Do y'all have a, are y'all picky about cottage cheese versus ricotta? I feel like we're rich folks when we have ricotta. I don't even know for sure if ricotta is more expensive, but in my head, ricotta feels like it's fancier than um, cottage cheese. 
So that's just my two cents. Can y'all see that really well? So you're gonna mix this up. This is such an easy one to freeze ahead. Don't waste your time and money on um, sofas when you can do it at home yourself. Okay, we're gonna get this mixed up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of that sauce. First, I'm gonna spray the pans. So here's my pans. I'm gonna spray that one. Spray that one. I'm gonna do a little bit of sauce from over here and add it to each of them. And that will help it to not get too saucy on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a spoon. I might actually do a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all, this is a big trick on this lasagna. Because you're freezing the lasagna, you're gonna add some liquid. Are y'all good? My cute girls are heading off to school this morning. My young, my middle one is home and she's driving Carrot Reagan, so that just was really sweet of her to drive her to school this morning, so I didn't have to. Okay, there we go. There's my lasagnas. I just wanna have enough sauce to kinda get the bottom started. So here's the trick on the lasagna. And this is why it's called easy lasagna. Because your lasagna is gonna stay in the freezer, you can actually use unboiled lasagna noodles. The thing is, you're going to want them to all touch a little bit. You're going to want some moisture next to them. So normally when I make a lasagna, if I was making a traditional lasagna, I would, I'm going to use these guys. I would just go ahead and do it a different, I would put in noodles, ricotta, sauce. Because this is freezer lasagna and I want to be able to eat it without having to prep the noodles, you're gonna put the meat mixture next to the, hang on, you're gonna put the meat mix, mix ugh, put the meat mixture, y'all, next to the noodles, and it's gonna let you cook the noodles without, you won't have to pre-cook your noodles. Now, I like to make sure my noodles are pretty well covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give these guys a nice big saucy bit because you wanna make sure to make, so that you don't have to do, to cook your noodles, you need to get them, them to get the moisture from the sauce. Y'all, I am just, I think I'm just tired this morning. I've had my girl home and man, my brain is going a million miles a minute this morning. Okay, so we're just gonna get these down here. And for some reason, you guys, I don't know what the deal is, y'all. I have done Facebook Live forever. I still get as nervous today when y'all are watching as I did the very first day I did it years ago. And I don't know how to get rid of that. I wish I could just, I don't know. Anyways, drives me crazy. Let's just say it drives me crazy. Okay, so there's that. Let's see what's next. I do know what I'm doing though, I promise, I do. <laughs> I think. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, let me read the directions real fast. Bit of the sauce, layer of noodles, two, three quarter cup of sauce. Oh, it says three quarters cups. Top with dollops of cheese, and then we're gonna repeat it. And then with mo mozzarella, okay. So, y'all, one day I will not be nervous. I swear, especially as I'm sitting here telling y'all to trust me on this, you're probably like, this woman is a big mess. I am a bit of a mess, but it's okay. I also think since we've moved to our new kitchen, I'm still kind of like, I don't feel very confident in this space. It's just really different than my old space, so I'm still like, where is everything? So that always makes me a little bit nervous. Anyways, y'all, you couldn't find that cute kimono on Jane. Oh no, I'm so sorry, you couldn't. I can't remember what the cute kimono is. I'll have to go look for it. Okay, y'all, I promise though, these recipes are amazing. The box of recipes, you can click the link in the video to get the box. Um, y'all, it is just so nice. Tomorrow we're doing the, actually, tomorrow we're doing the pesto tortellini, but I may freeze both of these because my daughter is home and she does not love lasagna, but she loves that pesto tortellini. So I may actually make that one for her. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some mozzarella. Three cups it says, so we'll do. These are gonna be really thick. I'm a little worried. I wish these were deeper pans. So if, if you go and buy your pans, get bigger pans because this is gonna be a lot to go into this guy. Let's see how we do. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna repeat this process one more time. Mm, 
what I may do is I'll have, this one will be the one I give out and this will be the one I keep. The one that has the pretty noodles versus the ugly noodle guy. And you could probably get an extra noodle in there. I try to eat a little less carby, so for me, I won't be sad if there's not as many noodles. If you have a family of athletic boys who are needing all the carbs, you could easily get four rows. I probably could get four rows, but I'm gonna stick with that because I wanna make sure this sauce covers it really well. So now we're gonna take the rest of the sauce. Like I said, I'm a little worried. This is, when y'all get your pans, get really thick pans, I will cook this for sure. I'm gonna put a note to myself to cook on top of a bigger pan because this is thick. I should have looked for deeper dish pans at Kroger. I gotta remember to do that next time. Every time you do freezer meals, try to look for the deeper dish ones. You could also do this as one big, huge pan if you've got a larger family, so that's really nice. Again, we're gonna make sure to get that pasta really good on top of everything. We wanna make sure the sauce covers these noodles so they get enough moisture so that they cook well. What'll happen is in the freezer, they're gonna get some extra moisture just from being in the freezer, so they'll get some liquid in there. And it'll just help to kind of make those noodles cook really easily for you. But I'm trying to make sure these noodles are covered because I do not want dried out lasagna noodles. Okay. Y'all see how covered those are? So if you're new to doing freezer cooking, that's definitely something you wanna watch for. The next thing we're gonna add in is the ricotta, which honestly is my favorite part. And we'll just kind of spoon it over top. And then I'll get a knife and kind of spread it around. If you use a knife spread, it's gonna be a little bit easier then if you use a spatula, if you use a spatula, it'll pull up. But if you use a knife, you can just kind of spread it like this. Nobody's gonna know that it wasn't perfect when they eat it because it's gonna be covered in mozzarella cheese. So when I first was cooking way back in the day, I would obsess over things like this. And then I realized that once it's all mixed together, the cheese is all gonna be in there. So it's good to go. Now we're gonna add in some more mozzarella. So that was two cups. This is a hit with your family, such a good recipe. I love hearing that, Lori. Y'all tell me what has been your favorite recipe from the Passion Penny Pincher menu plans. If you try them, if you haven't ever tried any of menu plan, our menu plans, ask some questions and we, trust me, the girls watching are gonna help you answer all the questions. My family loves this one too. My family loves lasagna. Well, my husband and youngest daughter, and probably Jackson, honestly, love lasagna. My middle girl is not a big lasagna fan. Okay, there we go. And I'm real tempted to go ahead and make that a clear cake because she's home. I'm trying not to eat so much. That's the only bad thing is when we're doing a big cooking, I'm like, oh, I can't eat all the dessert. Okay, I'm gonna take some cling wrap. I really want some more cheese on there, y'all. Get the deep dish ones. There's your lesson for me this morning. Actually, this isn't too bad though. So now this is the biggest and most important thing. You're gonna wrap this with some plastic wrap. When you go to bake it, you want to make sure, in fact, I might even put a note on here. Oops, I just pulled it the wrong way. I may stick a note on top that says remove plastic wrap because that is a really common thing that can happen. You don't want to make, you want to go ahead and do it this way just to keep it super I don't know, because Shree says you do it this way, so I trust that Shree has a reason we put plastic wrap. Y'all, what's the reason we put plastic wrap on these guys first? I think it's to prevent freezer burn is my guess. I just do it because Shree tells me to do it, and she's really good at this stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do two layers of foil, and I'm gonna put a note on these right now before I even start. This is. Here we go, y'all. This is gonna be my note. Here's my note to myself. Remove plastic wrap. Do that again. Y'all, if you're making them, please do this. What's nice about this is you can make one for tonight and then you can make another one for to have in the freezer. 
which makes me super happy. These are also really nice to take on vacation if you're traveling. They're nice to leave, to take to somebody who's had an illness, new baby, all those good reasons to take stuff. So we're gonna do this, and then I'm gonna show you my last step here. This is the geniusness of these menu plans. It's when you grab one of our menu planning boxes, if you haven't seen these before, this is the freezer meals. When you grab them, they come with the baby cards. And everybody asks me what the baby cards are. So these are the baby cards. Um, hey, Nicole, if you're watching or anybody else, can y'all go ahead and block Devid? Please block Devid as quick as you can. I hate when we see ones like that. Y'all, we have had that company is really, don't, y'all, don't click the link that that Devid guy is putting in there because he's a stinker. Anyways, <laughs> yesterday I was dealing with him all day yesterday. He has a group of, there, it's a bot or something. Anyway, sorry. So the quick and easy lasagna, these are the baby cards. Um, and you're gonna go ahead and you'll put these inside. You'll tape them to it. And that way when you go on day of cooking, you're gonna know exactly what to do and it's super easy. So I'm gonna see if I can actually block him really fast right now. Block. Oh, I think I just blocked him. Yay. Okay. Cook over a larger pan. Thank you. Good idea. I'll note it. I think I'll always cook it over, but you're right. Let's see. Cook over. Cook on larger pan. Thank you, because you're right. That's going to get bigger. Okay. I'll write better notes to myself later on. Anyways, um, let's see. How do we block this guy, y'all? Block. Okay, put baby card. Yes, that's right. You can definitely put baby card in the plastic wrap, and that's it. The other recipe I'm so tempted to make with y'all because my daughter is home, but it was messy, and I didn't plan for it till today. Y'all, is the eclair cake. I'm going to wait and make it later in the week, I think. Um, right, remove. I love that. Your son loves yours. You honestly want to try this one, but you're worried he won't like it. It is so good. It's so good. Y'all, I'm so tempted to make this one. But the problem is, how much work is it? In large bowl, combined together, vanilla, it's easy. Do y'all wanna make it? Make it. My daughter's home. I don't wanna make it, it's just such a big recipe, but uh, I'm not gonna make it today, only because we don't need that much food today. So I'm gonna wait on this one and make it. Anyways, I have to think about what we really have to eat tonight and we don't. Anyways, if you're interesting, do y'all wanna make it? We have a lot of people, only the freezer meals have mini cards. Do y'all want me to make it? Make it. Who am I gonna give the food to is the problem. Maybe I can get, my friend Missy's coming up today. Maybe she'll, y'all, I'm gonna wait. It's so easy. I know, it is so easy. It's so easy, you guys. Y'all are bad for me. Okay, let's make it really fast because Caroline's home. And maybe she can take some back to her, back to college to her friends. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Y'all, I'll put it in little to-go things. Here. I will make it in a to-go pan. I'm gonna make it in one pan for me. This is perfect. Okay, and I'll make it in one for her to take with her. That will work perfectly, because I do not need a full thing of a clear cake in my house right now. Okay, we're gonna make it like this. Here we go, guys. Let's make up the clear cake real fast. Okay, so to make up the clear cake, all you do, this is so simple, you take, In a large bowl, we're gonna do the graham cracker part first. Line the bottom of a 13 by nine inch baking dish. We're gonna do this in two smaller dishes because it's what I have. Oh, look at that, how perfect that is. And this way she can take one back to school and she can just give it to some friends. I'll just be like, take it to some college kids because we do not need to for sure at our house. Maybe I can even give it to my friend Misty. She'll take it home just so y'all can see it. Okay, there's that. This is so simple. I need three cups of milk an eight ounce package. Y'all hang on. I did not plan on making this. Y'all convinced me. Three cups of milk. I'm so excited that I can figure, like I said, she's going back to school and I really haven't made that many treats for her this weekend. She got food poisoning over the weekend. So it limited how much cooking we did around here. But this way I can send it back with her. Or I can, surely I can find somebody who's gonna want this, right, y'all? Okay, so you're gonna get your mixer. 
This is so simple. It really is like an easy, easy, easy peasy recipe. Okay. Y'all are bad for me. I was gonna be healthy today and now you've just ruined me. Not really. But I will say for these recipes, I heard somebody say that they struggle to eat well with them. You really do have to portion control. Like, or split things up like this. Make it so that it's enough for you to have a treat. That's not right, the right size. But not too much that you're out of control. Maybe one, two, I'm gonna read the directions because otherwise I will do it wrong even though I've made it a million times. Okay, y'all, here we go. Let's make this guy. I know, she's feeling much better, definitely. Three, okay, we're gonna go ahead. Place a single layer of graham crackers, mix together vanilla pudding, whipped topping, and milk. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. What size? Two 5.1 ounce packages of vanilla pudding. Okay, so we're gonna mix two of these instant guys. This truly is like one of the best recipes. Um, and you know what, I've never tried to freeze it. I've debated trying to freeze it. I don't know if you could. Like I said, I can easily send it home with Misty today though. She will eat it. I will find somebody to eat this recipe if I make it, I think. Okay. I'm gonna mix this together real fast first. So mix your pudding together, can y'all see that? What size? They're, they're two of the large instant puddings. So two of the large instant puddings you're going to do, it's like a, two, a five ounce. Okay, now we're just going to add this. And this is so simple. You're right. This is such an easy recipe. It's a shame not to show you how to do it. And I need to make it now, so I'll make it later in the week. And then you're going to do an eight ounce tub of whip topping. which I was reading about all the unhealthy benefits of whip topping, which happens to be one of my favorite foods. I'm gonna try to move to True Whip. I read that True Whip is, tastes just as good and works just as well. So I'm gonna, that's my new goal. Is to switch my addiction to Cool Whip to True Whip. Because I don't think I realize how bad it can be for you. I just want to make sure I did this right. It's been a minute since I've made this one. Y'all, what is with me? Good gravy. Why on earth does Facebook Live make me nervous? You would think I would be past this. Mostly people are so kind, but every once in a while we have had some really grouchy reviews, and I think that just sets me up to be super nervous, and I hate it. I hate that quality about myself. It is not my favorite thing. Let's just say that, but I keep doing it. So if there's something that you don't like doing and you keep doing, it's worth it. The bins that I got are from Target. They're from Target. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do this again. I'm actually gonna go ahead. Where'd my spreader go? Y'all, it's better. Don't ever spread with a spatula like I'm doing. It's way better to spread with a knife. It'll spread better, but we're going fast here because I wanna get something else out. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. This actually works really well. I'm actually super impressed. So thank y'all for inspiring me to keep getting it done. This is my son's like favorite one. So I hate that he's not going to be here for this. But my girls will appreciate it. You could maybe, uh, it's going to be pushing it to get more in there. Okay, so we're going to do one more layer of this. I do not know if this would freeze or not, so I am probably, I may actually test this and see if we can freeze it, see how it does. 
such yumminess, y'all. This is truly one of my, my personal favorite recipes too. So you're just gonna do this. And then my tip on the uh, frosting is to do, to melt it for just a second in the microwave. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. This microwave at our new house microwaves so fast that I have to be careful. So I'm gonna stick it on for 30 seconds, but I really only need to do it for like 15 seconds. Y'all don't let me go too long on that or I will have a mess. Okay, I did it. Kind of made a mess. Let's see if we can't get this a little better. I can do better than that. I was worried about turning that thing off. Y'all, I could have done better than this. It does not matter. That's the best thing about this recipe is it, like, it could not matter less how you do it. The only thing you do want to do is you do want to have a little bit of a separation for the um, because you don't want the frosting to sit. You don't want that hot frosting to sit on the pudding or it'll kind of melt it through. So you can add as many crackers as you need. I am so happy that I just did a double batch of this and now I can send one and we can keep one. And now, my kitchen is a disaster zone, y'all. So thank you for that. Okay. You just wanna get this frosting to where it can pour over a little easier. It may actually, I'm gonna give it one more second in the microwave. And in the meantime, here you go y'all, look at my nasty kitchen now. If you feel like your kitchen is a mess, here's what my kitchen looks like. It's a disaster zone, but it's gonna be done really fast, so it'll get better here quickly. Please don't be nervous, your sister and you were just discussing. Hang on, I'm trying to read your comments because I may need to hear it. How much do you like? Oh, Teresa, thank you for saying that, Teresa. I really have struggled. I, I don't know. I think people have gotten really a lot grouchier maybe, and it is sometimes disheartening, and sometimes I'm like, Lord, am I even the person for this job? Like, I don't know. Do people even need this craziness that we do? And it's Facebook has definitely made it harder. I think that may be part of my nervous too. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but even some of the girls that I follow that used to have thousands of people watching their lives might get um, hundreds and it is just disheartening. It's kind of like, man, I did all this work and now people just don't even want to watch what I do. So I think that's part of it is honestly just, I don't know, it's a mess. And then I make a disaster. So thank you for being encouraging to me today because goodness, I really do help, it helps you. And honestly, when I see y'all making the recipes that we make and see your success in the groups, I'm like, okay, Lori, you are doing what God calls you for for this season. It may not be forever, but for right now, somebody needs to see you make a clear cake this morning. <laughs> so if that's you, I am so thankful for you. And I have a big fat mess in my kitchen and I'm gonna see how fast I can clean it up today. Phew, there we go, y'all. So good. So y'all are so stinking sweet. Um, if you're interested in the menu planning boxes, if you're new here and have not seen them, we just made, from the freezer meal series, we just made, two clear cake recipes, which is pretty fun, and two easy bake lasagnas. Tomorrow, I think my friend Shannon is gonna make the pesto tortellini. The next day, um, I'll be making, well here, I can show y'all what we'll be making. Um, the next day, I'll be making the, uh, grandma's beef brisket. Pray that I can find a brisket. I had a hard time finding a brisket, so I'm really hoping y'all, let me know if you find your briskets. Lemon pesto chicken tenders will be Thursday. Brunch with chicken stew will be Friday. Um, they are so good, and y'all are so sweet for this mama who needed some encouragement. I'm gonna sit here and clean up my kitchen. Thank y'all so much. This is what it looks like now. So, so many people say, Laura, your kitchen's so clean. Uh-uh, it's just this. Y'all are amazing. Uh, the chocolate I used was just chocolate frosting. Uh, you will, yes, we'll be doing celebration next week. We are gonna do, next week we're doing the celebration ones. We're doing week, the family vacation. So that should be super fun. Have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.